What's going on, everyone? All right, we're back with some more Trails to Azure. Your boy, Top Captain Gamer. We're going to get right back into the game. And the last video, we were picking uh, contestants uh, to be in uh, this beauty pageant. And we're going to go ahead and go back to the building and report the people we found. You're back. Did anyone find, uh, did you find anyone willing to participate in the pageant? Remember, I was looking for a waitress, an artisan, a maid, and a sister from the church. Yep, you managed to get all four. All we have to do is call them before the pageant starts. Oh yeah? Finally, some good news. The piano concert is just about to finish over uh, our end. Talk about perfect timing, huh? Now we don't have to call off the big event. Thank goodness for that. Good work, Rory. It's nice to finally see my bump of the logs of a grandson apply himself. What's with the backhanded compliment? Well, anyway, that pageant is about to start. You guys are ready to feast your eyes? Bring on the women! Yep, all good to go. We'll contact the participants now. Cool, thanks for that. Ooh, baby. I can't wait to see those ladies strut their stuff. You'd be lucky to strut out of here without a restraining order of five. <laughs> man, she busted his balls all the time, man. I should go and prepare the venue. Would you mind taking care of the hosting duties, Roy? You can count on me, Grandpa. That wraps up our part. How well things go from here is in the hands of the goddess now. I suppose we could use a break. We'll work as after, uh, two, after all. Yeah, it's not like we haven't earned it. Let's get in touch with the participants and let them know we're waiting. All right, here we go. Yeah, look at that big ass turkey. <laughs> it's just... Look at Rias. <laughs> this is going hard. <laughs> wow. Rias has, uh, has been in on a cross table tour since the second she walked in. That girl can eat, boy. It's a little too easy to pick her out from the crowd that have it on. <laughs> Perhaps so, yes. But frankly, I can't blame her considering how delicious the buffet is. Looks like all the restaurant in, uh, restaurants in town hooked this event up with some seriously de uh, delicious, I'm oh, sorry, seriously good eats. Yeah, getting it rigged up. I even see some of that spicy mayo tofu from Long Lao over there. Oh, I need to get myself a bowl before they run out. You guys make for a real tight-knit team. And with food this delicious, there's no way this event won't be a success, right? One can hope, at least. Come on, Wazzy. This is for charity. Try not to be such a downer. By the way, Kate, you don't seem to be the least bit nervous about taking part in the pageant. We expected otherwise, seeing as headquarters has been practically buried, uh, buried in work since the raid. Right. Well, I was waffling on it uh, when I first got invited, but then Chief Jolich encouraged me to participate, so here I am. Oh, how nice of them. In times like these, we have to do everything we can to support our citizens. In that case, I mean, in that sense, we're copying your team's MO. That's flattering, but I'm not sure we're anything, uh, uh, anything worth imitating. Oh, that's mine. Excuse me for just a moment. This is Officer Kate speaking. Yes, yes, understood. I'll be there ASAP. Well, looks like she's out. Is everything all right, Kate? The time couldn't have been any worse, but something came up at work. I have to go. I don't feel great about it, but I'm going to have to drop out of the pageant. Seriously? Damn, that's rough. But we get it. If duty calls, duty calls. Yeah, sorry about this, guys. But I've got to get moving. Would you mind apologizing to Roy for me? Don't worry, Kate. We'll take care of it. Thanks. I owe you one. She got out of there fast as hell. <laughs> it's almost like she got a homegirl to call her. <laughs> like, hey, it was about to start. Just hit me up. So I got out of here. What a pity. I wish she could have at least stayed uh, to chat a while longer. Me too. 
Hey guys, enjoying yourselves? It's almost time for the pageant to start. Could you do me a favor and help round up the participants? Huh? Where'd the police officer go? Well, about that. Lloyd explained that Kate was called away for a work-related emergency. What? Well, this is just great. What the heck are we supposed to do now? Oh, I see this coming. Oh, I got it. Can I get one of you to fill in for the policewoman role? Uh, what? You want one of us on stage? Well, now you got my attention. <laughs> Come on, ladies. How many times in your life are you ever going to get a golden opportunity like this? Give it a shot. That's easy for you to say, Randy. You're not the one who has to get up there. Please, I'm begging you. This event isn't just for... Uh, just about raising funds for the reconstruction efforts. It's also meant to lift the spirits of our citizens. This is for the sake of every cross -bellum. Well, when you put it like that, how do the rest of you feel? I have no objections. Technically, I'm a member of the CGF, not the police, but I doubt that's going to get me out of this. Perfect. All right. Uh, all right, then. Which one of you is going to enter the pageant? How about you pick our lucky entrant, Lloyd? Why me? You're the leader of the SSS. If anybody knows which of our gals has the goods, it's you. Besides, time is short. And do you really want to sow the seeds of, di by, of discontent by making them pick between themselves? Okay, fine. Let's see. Who should I volunteer for the pageant? All right. So... <laughs> Normally I would pick Ellie here, but because it's Noelle's last day, we're going to let her ride it out <laughs> in the best way possible. <laughs> Will you do the, us the honors, Noelle? Me? Well, uh, mission accepted. I've never done anything like this before, but I won't let you down if I can help it. Not like we haven't done worse. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it once you're on stage. True. But this is a different kind of pressure from being in the combat or mid investigation. Not only that, but she isn't properly dressed for the theme. Eking out a win would be an uphill battle, backwards even. How about we spin it another way? Say you're a plain clothes officer or something. <laughs> would have been more ideal with a green skirt and a, a blue blazer and that peak cap and so on. But what can you do? He's really fixated on the whole uh, women in uniform bit, isn't he? Regardless, the pageant should be able to continue his plan now. Best of luck, Noel. We'll be cheering you on. I'll try to make you guys proud. Come on, we don't have much time. We gotta go get ready backstage. I don't know if you get any kind of um, uh, loyalty points or anything for picking her. That's also a reason why I picked her. Ellie and Tio. I just feel, I feel like Tio's too young to be in it, so I chose Noel because we also need to get some uh some hearts for her as well. But I figure it's her last day. We'll give her a chance to ride it out, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is—the moment you all been waiting for. It's the Miss Crossbell Pageant, Work It Working Girl Edition. <laughs> okay. So here's how the contest will go. Each participant will appear on stage and give a few words to try and appeal to the crowd. Each message should contain a greeting or an expression common in their field. After every lady has had their turn to uh, the name of the one you find most charming on your ballot, whoever garners the most votes will then be awarded the title of Miss Crossbell. With that, let's get this thing started. Time to show off your stuff, ladies. First up, entry number one. The sweetly innocent receptionist of the T Times Cross Bells. I mean, I'm sorry, Times Department Store. Miss Cynthia. Welcome to the Times Department Store. Please let me know if there's anything I can help you with. <laughs> Wasn't that fantastic? Just how many people has she blown away with that classy professionalism? And by the way, fellas, she's single. Who out there wouldn't want a date with a catch like her? On to the next one. 
Entry number two. A lone rose with the charm of a butterfly dancing in the back alley moonlight. It's Miss Harris. I mean, if you're going beauty wise, she'd probably be like one of the people that'll win it. Thanks for choosing me. I'm all yours for tonight. Let's drink, then either way. Smooch. Okay. Bravo. Did you catch that perfect kiss? You could share a toast with that enchanting Miss Aries at her club in the back alley. Well, remember, only virgin cocktails for all you miners out there. <laughs> now let's keep the ball rolling. It's time for entry number three. An angel from the east. We all know her as Long Glow's waitress. It's the spectacular sunshine. Welcome. How many in your party? Daddy's cooking uh, is the best round, so make sure you order lots, okay? <laughs> there it is. That smile just takes your breath away, doesn't it, folks? As the face of Long Lao, Santan is incredibly popular on the uh, East Street. I just happen to be a huge fan myself. Unfortunately, her father, Zhang Hui, <laughs> Zhang, Zhang Hui, might cave in your head with a walk. <laughs> <laughs> you try anything funny. Don't place an order. Uh, don't place an order for this dish unless you're willing to pay with, this, with your life. <laughs> All right. Let's hear for entry number four. A beautiful orbital engineer of Gen. I still don't know if it's Gentin or Gentin. I don't know. Is it Gentin? I'll go Gentin. It's a spectacular Miss Wendy. She didn't even try to take none of the gear off or nothing. I don't have anything prepared for this occasion, but if you got an orbit that needs tinkering, I'm your gal. Wow, her reliability is so, is so, so charming. Don't go smashing your orbits just to have an excuse to see her, though. <laughs> I've heard she's no stranger to braining people with her wrench. Would you look at that? We've already reached entry number five. Next, we have the magnificent maid responsible for serving Crossbell speaker, Henry McDowell. Give it up, Miss Joanna. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, <laughs> welcome home, master. <laughs> if you'll excuse me then. Jeez. Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. Who said maids have to be... Uh, I'm sorry, had to be stuffy. Something about this gal just hits you like a breath of fresh air. Sorry. Oh, sorry about that. Ah. Uh, who said maids have to be stuffy? Something about this gal just hits your breath, uh, hits you like a breath of fresh air. I bet some of our audience members are starting to feel awfully jealous of Speaker McDowell right now. We're almost there, everyone. It's time for entry number six. She's a pure-hearted woman of the cloth who's devoted her earthly existence to the big A in the sky. <laughs> it's Miss Ries. The teachers of the Septian Church live on in the hearts of the people. May the goddess guide you all. That's probably the best. Whoa, well, oh, how divine. Folks, I think I, we just, uh, I'm sorry, we just witnessed the birth of a new saint. Is this really the same girl who was wolfing down everything at the buffet earlier? <laughs> Last but certainly not least is entry number seven. She's a recent transfer to the special support section and a member of the CGF. And did I mention her unrivaled, uh, un yeah, unrivaled sense of justice? It's Miss Noel Seeker. Great. Now I have to think of some kind of catchphrase for the audience. What should I say? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, no. She's supposed to be a cop. We're going to declare them under arrest. She pulled out the guns. We've got you completely surrounded. There's no escape. Surrender immediately. <laughs> bravo, bravo. Who knew being held up by a policewoman could be so stimulating? <laughs> there you have it. All seven contestants have now had their time to shine. Let's have a big round of applause for our lovely ladies on stage. After a brief pause, the audience put in their votes. Ries elected to drop out uh, just prior, stating that it wouldn't be fair for her to compete as a non-cross-governor. 
The audience then proceeded to select a winner from the six remaining girls. I get a ballot too, so I might as well vote. In the interest of fairness though, I probably sh uh, shouldn't choose a co-worker. Now, let's see, who do I go for? All right, so this part right here, if you pick Cynthia, you get a mine three quarts. Okay, if you pick Eris, you get a defense three quarts. If you pick Shantan, you get an attack three quarts. If you pick Wendy, you get an evade three quarts. And if you pick Joanna, you get an HP three quarts. I am going to pick evade. So I'm going to pick Wendy. Okay, I think I'll go with Wendy. I picked Wendy also because I think Wendy like is one of those people that's just kind of like she helps everybody when you really think about it. And your the title is Miss Crossbell. Like I think Sansan is like cool for her uh her dad's place, her restaurant. Joanna is kind of like, you know, she only really works at one home. Eris kind of works for her business. And, you know, Cynthia is kind of like, it's the same thing. Everybody kind of works for their own business. And they help people. I would say Cynthia and Wendy probably help more people than the other three. Just being fairly honest. But, you know, but I chose Wendy because, you know, Wendy's cool. And plus, we get to evade three out of it. And finally, once we've announced the results of the pageant, the second event of the day will come to a close. And now, the winner of the very first Miss Crossbell pageant. The contestant who will be taking home the grand prize is... Entry number four, Miss Wendy. In recognition of your victory, it's my honor to present you with this commemorative plaque. Really? Don't mind if I do. Thanks a bunch, everybody. But that's not all. The judge, uh, the judges would like uh, to select another contestant for honorable mention. Entry number seven, Miss Noel. <laughs> In recognition of your outstanding effort, it's my honor to present you with this other commemorative plaque. There you go. I'm on it. That's the end of the Miss Crossbell pageant. The buffet will be reopening shortly. So grab a bite and we'll see you at the cook off in a general arts class later. <laughs> Pretty little fun event. And so the charity pageant came to a close. The pageant went off without a hitch. We couldn't have done it without you guys. Thanks again for gathering up those lovely ladies. You're very welcome. It was a lot of fun for us, too. I can't say I was expecting to win an award, though. Don't underestimate yourself, Noel. I wasn't surprised in the least. Yes, you were very charming up there. Well, everyone had a grand old time, and we managed to collect plenty of mirror for the reconstruction efforts to boot. My hat's off to you, Roy. Turns out you had a winning idea for once. Why couldn't you have just said good job or something? <laughs> oh well, anyway, since this is our special, it's a special occasion, I'd like you guys to have this. We prepared it specifically with the winning contestant in mind. Think of it as a memento of today's event. There's that evade three. Wow, really? Thanks so much, Roy. For real, man, that was one hell of a show you put on. Here's hoping we get more future, uh, more events like this in the future. Yeah, definitely. Anyway, I think we'll just be going now. Of course. Thank you again. Keep on keeping on, SSS. Alrighty. Trying to see something real quick. So I got one on Wally. Move is better on him. I think I might slip it on her. Uh, let's see what she gets. Uh, 
Yeah, I'll have to end up opening one of those. Okay. It's really for later on for another person, but I wanted to see if I could use it temporarily at the moment. All right. Next thing we're going to do is head to Knox Road. Well, let me get in the car. Yes. Okay. Go ahead over here to Knox. We got a uh, a monster to exterminate out here. I pretty much scanned everything on this road. Yeah, I did. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. You run from me. I don't know what the hell this thing is. Be around here somewhere, huh? Don't tell me it's going down inside that damn other thing. Uh, no. Where is that? Oh, that's that other uh, level 100k. I gotta remember that. Well... There, little bastard is. Just collected some easy seconds. Save right here. Okay, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, make sure you got some evasion tanks going into this fight. All right. Okay, they resisted. Yes. Yes. Really hate to burn one of her turns. Can't usually go wrong with uh well no, you know what I'm gonna use her. Just scope them out. Okay. So they're weakened by space. God damn! Look at these moves. <laughs> Turns the day down. So it seems like about 70 is a good 
Yeah, so they cause faint when they do. Yeah, because I think I lowered it about 70 on his evasion. And it's pretty good. It gets you through most of the game. You killed all of them. Nice. Lloyd carried that fight. Oh, get a mute too. Uh... I did scan the thing, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. Who am I gonna stick that on? A mute too. Um. I might end up switching. Um. Six of them. It's not bad. Hmm. And I definitely want to put it on somebody that, uh, So to add Tyrrell and Ice Hammer. Not too bad. I can stick with that. Um Damn. That's two of them as well. Damn it, Wazzy. Messing me up, man. There's no people put a day three there either. Damn it. All right. I'll remember to switch it. Move it, move it, move it. I think the best thing about this one was, um, is having a car, and when you beef up the car, you can, um, just have it, you just rest at the car and get everything back, including CP. So it makes it easy when you're going out in the field just doing stuff. You don't have to just, you know, always get to the point where you have to go all the way back to go rest, to pay money, to heal back up and everything. Anything else I need to do out here? Alright. I'm trying to think what else do we need to do? May need to go back to um I think all we got left is Yeah. We just need to go get the rest of the U material. Alright, so it looks like I need to find out 
cool can you give me some U material? And none of these. Nope. Killing those things, Gelma. Horse like a cocoon. I don't even remember fighting that damn thing. That's in a Knox Forest. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to find somewhere more simplistic. Alright, I'll tell you what, I'm going to uh, just edit here. It'll be a quick edit. I'm going to go find a place to go uh, fight these damn, uh, fight and get some U material and be right back. I don't, y'all, y'all don't have to go through all that and then we'll just go take care of the quest and then head on with the rest of the game. So, quick edit when you're here. Alright, and we are back. So, I went and got the U material and everything. We're going to go ahead and give it to, uh... You, you may, however the hell you pronounce his name. Let me see. Yep, that's 10, all right. Mind handing them over? They're all yours. Don't mind if I do. Our chances of fixing this place up are looking a lot better now. We're always happy to help. You're going to do some more repairs now, right? Need any extra hands? Yeah, we're no strangers to our work. No, I can't possibly ask that. Not when you've already done so much. Besides, I think it's only fitting that the, den uh, the, den the, yeah, the denizens of downtown fix up the downtown district themselves. You're right. And the testaments will be there to lead you every step of the way. Give them my regards, Abbas. How convenient that you no longer consider yourself a fellow member. That is perfectly fine. Wazi has another role to fulfill right now. You have my thanks yet again, SSS. I would be much obliged if you would help uh, the others as well, should you have the time. Yeah, of course. Actually, wait, we've already covered the three main areas we discussed. I suppose all that's left is patrolling the neighborhood for little things. That would be much appreciated. I will see you again shortly. All right. Looks like everything is good. Good work, special sports section. There was, I never did get to, there's this one. I don't know if I just didn't ask him at the right time or, I, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, there is another part where you can ask, uh, you talk to Azel or talk to, uh, I can't think of the other guy's name. Is it Ten Tenzin Tenzin? The guy that's standing next to him. I can't think of his name. It's like Tenzo, Tenzo, eh. I can't think of it, but he was making this, he's making the soup and everything, but uh, he asked for some uh, tomato paste, and I showed him in the other video where you can go to do that, but I, for some reason, didn't get the prompt to do that when I talked to him, so I don't really know if it was a bug or if I just missed the part where I was supposed to ask, or I'm just not sure, but uh, yeah, so we did all we could, but you get a, basically an extra detective point for doing that. We'll wear a special support section. Your efforts have brought some solace to the people of downtown district. I'm happy we could do uh, we could do anything at all. Yes, but there's still so much more to do before the district can truly recover. Yeah, Wall's guys are probably gonna need a lot of time to process all this. That's not even counting the injuries. Um, at least they have Dino to be there for them. He'll just have to pick up the slack in the meantime. And you speaking on the Saber Vipers? That would be for the best. Probably, yeah. At any rate, consider our request fulfilled. I ask that you keep the downtown residents in your thoughts and aid them whenever you can. We will, Ivis. Don't hesitate to call if there's anything we can uh, help out with. Ah, uh, just remembered. I've been meaning to give you this. Oh yeah, you get his pom-pom uh, party account. You play two Abbas? Only if I have time to spare, of course. 
Send me a challenge whenever you like, if you feel so inclined. So, the guy I'm speaking of in here, I can't, I don't know if I'm getting his name right, but it's him right here. Tance, okay. Everyone seems so satisfied with the pork meat, so soup, I couldn't be happy about that. Thanks for helping to make it happen. But he, he prompts you to get like the tomato paste, but I never, I never got a prompt for it, so I don't know. Thanks again for your help today, SSS. We still got some soup left over if you want any. Okay, we got some the miso soup. Thanks. We never turn away a second helping, especially when it's this delicious. I call dibs. I'm glad to hear that. Tells me it was worth making uh, so many servings. All right, so got that done. But like I said, there's something missing there. Don't know what it is. Yeah, because there was four bonus detective points you can get there. So I missed something. I don't know what it was. Yeah, it sucks, but the way it goes sometimes. All right, Um. so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to head to the garage and head down west Crossbell Highway. Trying to think where this guy is. No, not there. Stand still. <laughs> Oh, steal you little devil. I think he's right there, actually. So now we're gonna what we're gonna do, we're gonna finish up all the fishing stuff. Alright, and this is one of the challengers right here. We're gonna go ahead and save. Now, with this guy, um, there's a certain pattern that he goes about. I'll, I'll run you through the pattern. If I have the right type of bait, I think. All right, we initiate the angler's duel. All right. If I take, if take a look at your fishing notebook. I remember you have to catch all other fish in the game besides the, uh, the, the legendary catches. I think they're what they're called. Wow, excellent work catching this many types of fish. It's no small feat. That settles it then. You and me are going to have an English duel. The rules are simple. First man to catch five different types of fish wins. Doesn't that sound fun? It's time to duel. So, first thing you're going to do? All right, then I'll go first. Well, how about that? All right, so first thing you want to do, you want to pick the primary rod and a dumpling, of course. You just have to catch different types of fish. Yes, get to that. All right, that's what they call a carp. You're not half bad. So he's just mixing up how you how you doing everything not bad not bad at all you got a trout i won't lose um trying to think here uh, should i go earthworm we can go a little shooter in a row
I wish there was some way to speed him up, but there isn't. Uh-oh, he caught the same thing again. Alright, we go a little shooter and some red flags this time. This isn't about, like, the biggest catch. It's just about catching a different type. You keep catching the same damn things. All right, we go Viking ride and a cart. I caught a queen crab. Now I gotta think of one more good combination. I'm trying to think. I don't. I might go primary. Um, primary rod and earthworms. See, if we get that. All right, there we go. Oh, did I lose? We got him. Wow, you actually handed me a loss. Didn't see that one coming. Oh, well, allow me to award you with proof that you bested the Silver Orca of the Imperial Fishing Club. Silver Orca's medal, thank you very much. With this, the Imperial Fishing Club will henceforth acknowledge you as an Orca Poacher. A orca poacher. <laughs> Sorry in advance, honestly. I think it's just as lame as my title. <laughs> Only a little. All right. Now, after you get done uh, beating him, you want to come right here and let me see. What can we do right here? Hmm. I'm trying to think here. If I were Randy, I'd bet Commander Bells for my job at Belvoir Gate back. So I can fish here all the time. Alright, so we'll go Viking Rod and a carp. I only got one left too. So hopefully we can catch this thing with this. I forgot to do this at the other one. We got the Crimson Eater. Had to end up going back to do that. Alright, we got the Bull Dragon. And he caught up the Lapis Rod. What the heck? Look at the absolute size of this bad boy. And hey, it's really pretty too. This has got to be a rare one. All right, and we are out of here. Yep. Didn't I mean to go and run into him? As a matter of fact. Yeah, I'm gonna sneak this on him for right now. Just for now. I plan on switching him and Wazzy up on that. Once I build up enough, uh. Or get uh, enough Sepith to open it up. Um. No. Is it on Ursula Road? I think it is. Oh, you know what? No, I need to, um... Crap. I need to head back here real quick. And let's head to East Street. And head over to the fishing club nope I thought I could get like something extra let's see if anybody else is in here ah there he is 
Hmm, is there something you need? You don't mean to tell me you defeated the Elite Four, do you? Well, I, actually, I have. Present that medallions and prove it to me then. All right, so we showed them. These are, without a doubt, the medals of the illustrious uh, four, Elite Four. To think any one of you could rise to the occasion and challenge the Fishing Emperor. The Fishing Emperor. Indeed, you stand before Lake Lord III, the Fishing Emperor. He who bears the name of the club itself and sits atop its mighty throne. I will be awaiting your arrival at the venue of our decisive showdown. Come to Ursula Road Sandbar. There, we fight. <laughs> All right, so that's the last guy you got to face. I thought there was a way to get. Um... So you're finally challenging Lake uh, Lord Lake Lord. The decisive showdown will take place at the sandbar or the Ursula Road. It's a favorite uh, spot in all of Crossville. This will be your toughest duel yet, but I wish you the best of luck. My hope is that you'll be able to bridge relations between the Imperial Fishing Club and the Fishman's Guild as well. That's it? I don't know why I thought there was some other place we can buy bait. I don't know. And I think I might have come to the wrong place. Um, it might be at the boat shed. Yeah, I think one of them sells it. Something like that. Yeah. Lloyd, what do you have there? This? I'm pretty sure it's part of a fishing set. It must have been a real beauty, too. A rare fish I caught from one of the spots of the Elite Four were guarding and spat it out. Well, your hunch is right. That thing is a part of a fable fishing set uh, once used by a nomadic pro angler. As the story goes, he sealed it away somewhere in the lands uh, when he left Crossbell. Who'd have thought he hid the pieces in the bellies of, of, very, of the very things they're built to catch? I didn't realize it was so legendary. What should we do then? Return to its owner? No, absolutely not. <laughs> the man himself said, it's finders keepers. That gear is now yours. By the way, there are four parts in total. So, wait a second. You already have them all. I can put it all together in right now, if that's okay with you, Lloyd. Please go ahead. So, from each one of these legendary fish, you, you put, it put, gives you a piece of this stuff to make this legendary rod, so... Well, blow me down. She's gorgeous. This is the legendary fishing rod. Agreed. I can't believe how cool it looks when it's all together. Well, it's all yours, Lloyd. The Aqua Ruler. I think we can. you can use every bait on this uh, thing, if I'm not mistaken. Are you really sure I can have it? Who are you talking about, Lloyd? You found the, uh, the pieces? Of course you get to keep it. You've already managed to outfish the entire Lee 4 at this point, right? And do us a favor and use that thing to show Lake Lord who's boss around these parts. Right. I will. Uh, so he's not selling it. Ah. Did I get this for Wazi? I don't even know if I did. Huh. I seriously don't know if I bought it or not. I have to go double check that. Um, Catch some more different types of fish. Got two catfish. I don't think I can fish with that though. I could have sworn there was the other type of thing he's supposed to give you.
I guess not, though. So the guild's bringing out the secret weapon. I never met him, so I have no clue what they're like. Uh, Alright. I guess we can use whatever. I'm just trying to catch some fish so I can get prepared for this. This uh, fight with this guy. <laughs> catch plenty of carp. Oh, come on. That's not going to work. Uh... That's what I want to catch right there. The carp is on the biggest fish that you can use to catch other fish. Um, got about five of them. I think that's good enough. I don't know. to catch a uh, cast again got a carp where the hell do I get cast again from tell you what I'm gonna end here and when I come back I'll be ready to challenge him and show you how that whole thing goes down. And I'm gonna try to figure out how I can get these other things too. Gotta see. But we'll we'll uh, we'll we'll get into it when we come back. But thank you for rocking with me. I appreciate everybody checking out the vid as always. If you are new to the channel, tap that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.